Now, not only sometimes do husbands or me get it right by taking my wife to lovely lighthouses, but there's two. Look at that, two. That means I'm two times as good as I was before. Welcome back to another episode. We are at Yamba in New South Wales and we're about to go exploring the Clarence Valley. So come along and see all the cool things that we can find. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yes. Ooh. Oh yeah, here comes the big one. Ooh. Oh yeah, bit of spray, bit of spray. Look, I don't mean to try and rub it in for anyone who's working, we've all done that, but um, how good is it to see lighthouses in the background and ripping oceans in the background here. Yep, better than any day's work that I've ever done. It's life, love it. Okay, I've always seen the pools, yeah, mainly around Bondi and that, that are on the beach and the waves go into it. And there's actually one here at Yamba. So we're going down to check it out. I really think I should swim in it, but I really couldn't be bothered putting togs on. So we'll see. Kane's just testing out the water. It is a little fresh. It's actually meant to be closed, the pool but it is a little fresh in there, definitely not what I would call lap swimming time. So the Aquaholics, no, I haven't been in here swimming. Hey, checking out McLean. It's meant to be the Scottish Highland. Australia's answer to the Scottish Highlands. So quaint wooden town. Yes, yeah, so I bought my cowby hat. What, to be Scottish? Yes. Okay, we're just on the outskirts of McLean now and we've gone over that bridge, which is pretty cool. I read a sign in town saying that it was 100 years old, so they had the centenary of their bridge. But also, just over behind me, you might be able to see there, is the showgrounds. And the guy at the information was telling us that it's a honesty donation box. There's probably about four or five caravans there. Um, you have to be self-contained, but it actually looks like a really cool place to, uh, to stay and pretty cheap. So if you're around the Clarence Valley area and you want a, a cheaper option, that check out the showgrounds at McLean. That could actually be a good one. Now, if you can see right at the top there, they've actually had the pole and made a nest. We're debating if it's a hawk or an eagle, but something is definitely nesting there's, in there. There's more than one. I'll see if I can get Well, as you can see, we're in the lovely Grafton area and behind me is the Double Decker Bridge. I believe it was probably built in the 1920s. It is probably the only Double Decker Bridge in New South Wales. There might be more in Australia. Thanks, John Kane. We're going to drive across the Double Decker Bridge. He's a little excited. First time for everything. Which is nearly a hundred years old. Awesome. Sadly, our time here in the Clarence Valley has come to an end. But to make sure you like, subscribe, and follow us along, because next week we head to Kang Eye Bridge. So come check that out. See, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, I like lighthouses. Can you tell? Look at that, that's way too, that's like zoomed up your nostrils.
See, they're making the sound. I'm going to talk hawk. And that's called... Constipated hawk. <laughs>